Hello everyone and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.11 and in this video I plan to handle these four contracts here simultaneously in one launch. I want to see if we can do that. We need to position a satellite in an equatorial orbit of the moon and that carries a science junior. Rescue Ornard from orbit of Kerbin. We need to get science day from the surface of the moon and we need to get into Minmus orbit and then return from Minmus orbit. Now, the order of operations could go a whole bunch of different ways, but I think the safest thing to do is rescue Ornard first, and then, because then we'll have control even if we lose communication, and then I believe we should go to the moon after that, uh, because, af uh, you know, getting into orbit around the moon is simple enough. And then we could land on the moon, get the science data, and that'll probably be Science Junior plus whatever Ornard can do. And then we can take back off again and then head to Minmus if we have enough Delta V. If it turns out we don't have enough Delta V, we can save the Minmus thing for later without Ornard. So that is the idea. But let's put together the mission and see how it might be done. The Science Junior just has to get into orbit around the moon. So actually we can keep our lander basically the same and put the science junior here instead. And then we can grab the science junior information from that. It doesn't say that, uh, well it does say unmanned probe. What if we send a woman? <laughs> what if we send a woman with it? That's an unmanned probe, right? Um. Science Junior. Wow, uh, we're over. Maybe I should unlock the VAB now. I'm gonna call this uh, Minimoon 1 because we're gonna go to both Minmus and the Moon. We'll need a probe core at the top. But let's see, how much to unlock the. Oh, we can't afford the VAB unlock. So that's not an option. Okay, so we got too much part count. We're gonna need comms as well. And we, we need to sneak in the probe core here. Maybe we can do without the fins. Okay, well at least we don't have to launch with a Kerbal. Just in case things go awry. But, uh, yep, let's try it. There's nothing else that is required. So step one, we want our Kerbal, or Nard. And we might as well try and get that rendezvous done as efficiently as possible. SAS on, throttle up, and launch. Now we don't have the fins this time. I'm telling myself <laughs> so that I don't do too much. I'll go steeper as well. Or I was trying to anyway, but I have to follow the prograde vector if it wants to go this way. Wherever the prograde vector wants to go, it's the boss. Oh, oh, okay, staging. I'm gonna thrall. No, oh, no, I can't thrall now. Keep it up. Okay, maybe we'll be okay. Not too bad. It's a long stage, so we don't have to stage to the terrier in the middle. But we'll need to keep up uh, our angle of attack here. Otherwise, our time to wap waps is just gonna go down. We're carrying a lot more at the top here, so it's sort of a little bit different. I should have been even steeper. I may have underestimated how much the Science Junior cut into our Delta V. Okay, staging and terrier. Okay. Got a periapsis. And... We're getting potential rendezvous points. 
but we'll have to overburn a bit. Let's see. We've, we're almost at the end of the Terrier stage, and once we finish Rendezvous, we will be pretty much at the end of the Terrier stage. Uh, I, well, actually, we might have a little bit left. So... It's... Gonna be interesting. Maybe Minmus is too much, we'll see. Check comms. Uh, comms should be okay. Okay, that'll be within render range. And we're connected back to the KSC temporarily. Okay, well it's a bit of a gulf, but I don't think we need to coddle this new Kerbal. So let's just park it. Oop. Oh, okay, close enough. Close enough. Come on, Ornard. Pilot, even. Whoa, okay, fine. Be fancy. Uh, okay. okay, that's the side with the logo. That always fools me because it looks almost like the window. Okay, board. And let's reorient for charging. Yeah, that seems fine. All right, let's just go to the moon. And go ahead. All right, stay. <gasps> but I need a science junior. Oh, crud. I didn't think through this very well, did I? Um, let's go to Minmus instead. <laughs> uh, wait, uh, we can... This is silly. <laughs> I've made a mistake. Um, we can do science data for moon, surface of moon, and then explore Minmus. Or we could just go to Minmus but, and land him and do science. I think at this stage, without the Science Junior, the more interesting thing would be just to go to straight to Minmus. So, that's what we're going to do. We are going to target Minmus and do an off-plane transfer to Minmus instead. So, from the descending node. Doing that sort of magic there. Okay. Diminimus. Best laid plans, I tell you. We'll do two out of the four things at once. Okay? Okay. It had to be an uncrewed probe anyway. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm totally fuzzy today. I blame Christmas. <laughs> I blame Christmas. Uh, let's add another stage just in case. We should we could just land on Minmus too. So we might do that. But they haven't given us a contract, so it worries me. Okay, there's a little Minmus encounter right there. Let's get out to this ascending node and just bring that down a bit. Yeah, yeah. Nope. Maybe this isn't the right timing actually. Okay, but that's a better position anyway. I don't really want the sending node on the purple orbit. Okay, that'll be good. Yep, well, very close to Mimis. Well, I guess we can do Kerbal EVA at this point. And EVA report. Keep. And actually, we need to do a crew report. Keep. And we might as well grab that crew report. Data. All right. Onward. Will we find the source of all mint ice cream? Who can say? All right. Making orbit. I just want most of my orbit to be close to Minmus. I think. This end is too high right now. But this side should be okay. Alright. 
So right now we can do close to minimus, crude report. Yep, or near minimus. And EV report, greater flats. I'm not going to exhaust the options there. Mm, this seems like a very simple area to land in, so we'll try and do that. We can get another EV report. Hmm, okay, Midlands. I expect it's mostly Midlands. All right. And we'll get the surface altitude. Um, we'll give the EVA one more go. Highlands, excellent. Okay, so I don't know if it'll still be Highlands over here where we land, but we'll see. Okay, we have landed. EVA. EVA report. Take surface sample is lowlands actually. And uh, what well, we might as well stow those and get the crew report. Okay, EVA again. We need to plan a. F Do we need to plan a flag? We don't really need to plan a flag. Hmm. We'll plan a flag anyway. <laughs> Okay, Ornard. Somehow you were carrying a flag even though you were stranded in orbit. You're lucky. Okay, Ornard uh, at the lowlands. Lowlands. It's not that low. They're low. The flats are lower. Okay, the flats are lower so yeah. that is the observation of the moment okay and board all right um i'm not gonna do biome hopping with it right now We're just gonna go back home. We have plenty of Delta V, but I want to get the other two contracts done. There will be many opportunities for Minmus. And escape. Okay, that's my usual 26 kilometers. And we are recharging. So, on our way back. Ornard already did plenty, given that we had just rescued him. I'm gonna try and make it a little bit nicer for him by slowing down somewhat. Okay, service module set. Should have turned on Kerbal's level up automatically during a mission and Ornard would be able to hold retrograde just fine. Might be able to get desert science. We'll see. Perhaps after this we can get the VAB unlocked? Maybe. Okay. Parachute. Yep, definitely desert. We've got cacti. Okay. So, EVA, let's see. EV report. Yep, Kerbin's deserts. Take surface sample. We haven't done any surface sample from Kerbin so far, so gotta remember that that's an option. Uh, let's take all the data and board, and we can do a crew report too. Okay, let's recover. 248 science earned. And Ornard is at level 2 already. Uh, yeah, we should get the VAB upgrade. 
We still have 200,000 left. And we have another Explore the Moon, but it's for a rendezvous. We've got another uh, position a satellite in a specific orbit. It's only a 3.7 degree inclination. I think we can do that. Green Sandstone, that's uh, on Minmus. Let's get that one. And we've got another Kerbal. Uh, they'll keep the rendezvous contract, right? They don't. I think I because I landed on Minmus, they'll just never give the explore Minmus. You know, land on Minmus contract. I'm not sure, but I think I think I might have jumped the gun on that. Sidwise, well, again, we should always get the Kerbal ones. But first, let's get a probe with a ability to land, science junior thermometer and get into these two orbits. Maybe we could orient Oscar B's like this. Oops, I wanted to. And then the ant engines at the bottom of the Oscar B's like this and just land on the science junior. If we take a look at our delta V, that's 2,000 meters per second, folks. It's crazy. <laughs> this is craziness. We can aerodynamic this a little bit and put the nose cone, but uh, then these antennae, oops, these antennae will need to be like that, and then we have to place the solar panels a little bit differently. So we'll have them like that, and we can just put the solar panels up here, I suppose. Yep, seems good to me. We're going to be on the surface with this. Yep, plenty of Delta V to land. All right, so we just need stages to get it there. All right, so Moon 4. It's not uncrewed. Maybe Moon... U1 for uncrewed. Totally different naming convention now. Okay, where are our commsats? Um, that should be helpful. That one might be helpful too. So okay, it's not the worst positioning. SAS on, thrall is up, and ignition. Okay, past the speed of sound, it's all looking fairly stable. Oh, wait, 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 spoke too soon. <laughs> spoke too soon. It's wobbly, it's wobbly. I don't have the pod's reaction wheel right now either. And we're going to be staging in an inconvenient time. And it flips. Uh, don't worry, don't worry, don't panic. Uh... So much for the nose cone. Ah, uh, that's not a good thing to do. Ah, uh, it's very aerodynamic in the wrong direction. Come on. Come on. We'll be fine. But yes, I, I budgeted for a flip. And probably more than that. Okay. We can cut it there for now. Let's see. Any chance that we can transfer right away? No, there's never any chance that we can transfer right away. Okay. Uh, well, we can just circularize and we'll do the thing. Okay, reignition. Okay, that'll do. And yep, yeah, we don't have any Delta V problems actually. No, I don't want Sidwise's capsule. That. Sidwise's capsule is pretty high up. I hope it's worth getting to Sidwise. Well, Kerbals are very expensive though, so it's probably worth it. We have no comms, but that's fine. We are in orbit. I didn't extend the commutrons yet though. We have comms back, so I can extend the commutrons. It's here too. 
All right. And time. Let's check. All right. We go for ants. We don't need to be particularly close. Both of the target orbits that we're aiming for are going to be higher up. That'll do. And we'll adjust as necessary. Probably this non-equatorial one first. So we just need to keep an eye on the electric charge. And once we get there, comms, of course. Um, I think the moon is temporarily blocking our sunlight. Well, there are the two orbits. Easily compatible. In other words, we don't have to do anything fancy to get from one to the other. And I just need to pull out our periapsis a little bit here. To get to the light blue orbit. Okay, approaching the moon. Okay, so taking a look at this, we could do with capturing here and pointing a little bit south. So retrograde and slightly southward, go. Maybe a little bit lower on this side. We need to radial that a bit. One degree. Nope. Let's keep it to one degree. Oh, it's satisfied with that. Okay. Then this next orbit, we need to boost that per uh, periapsis a little bit. So let me uh, point upward. It'll be radial to bring that periapsis up. Okay. And... That's fine, we'll wait a little bit. And then right around here, we'll go retrograde to bring the apoapsis down. But we want to lean a little bit radial down. And that'll take care of that. And thus it was done. So, let's just go straight for a landing, because that's the next thing. This is all... Oh, we have to maintain stability. Let's maintain stability. Okay, all stable. And uh, that, that was cheating of it. Uh, it, it made the orbit disappear and made me think that we had done the thing, but we hadn't actually done the thing because we hadn't maintained stability. Uh, we could have easily missed this one. Okay, so we're going to land and then uh, do the Science Junior and transmit that. And I guess the thermometer as well. But we want to do the science from the surface. So we want to do that at a location that has comms. So we don't want to land just yet. Uh, make sure that we are charging. So flip around. Okay. And we will land maybe in this crater here. Is that the east crater? Yeah, it is. Uh, let's not land there. <laughs> it's a silly place. Uh, let's uh, land over here even though it's in the dark. Uh, that might actually cause problems for transmitting data. Let's land... Let's land at the pole. Let's land at the pole. We should have enough. I don't know if that will do the trick or whether it has to be down here. Maybe it has to be... Let's see. Yeah, I think it has to be down there. Will that get us enough power, though? I hope we have... A transmission line back at that location. Maybe I should keep it a little bit more to this side compared to what I have it. Uh, let's try it like that without going any further. So that I am hoping that the communication line will still be good without any horizon issue. Also want charge. So we're asking for a lot here. Communication lines might be good, might be not good. We'll end up seeing. I think we're early. Um, 
Keep that going a bit, though. Okay, probe, please don't die. Oh, the sun is really going down, though. Yeah, power might be a problem, after all. How about comms? Alright, final descent. Mm, there's some mountains that could get in the way of Kerbin. I don't even see Kerbin around. Okay, uh, we're on the ground. Okay, let's see. Um, thermometer should be the safest thing. Uh, poles, yes. Transmit. Um, do we have enough charge for the Science Junior? It's only 29.4. We really should be recovering it, but let's try it. We've already got the contract done. Uh, I don't think we have enough. Uh, no, not enough electric charge. But, yeah, we got the contract done. Do we want to time warp and see if the sun's gonna come up for us? I don't know, it's a pole. It could take a while. Okay, there it's done. Uh, let's see if we can transmit it now. Okay, got it. And let's try the barometer. Okay, we got it. All right, all that science. We got 670 science now. And we filled those three contracts. So we're, we're good. Let's go back to Space Center. And I will decide what to do with the science in the next episode. We might be able to find some new contracts here. Um, still no, uh, yep, no Explorer Minmus. I think they're never going to give that to me. There's some rescues, but I'll think about that. We'll have to think about that. Anyway, so with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.